Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for September 21, 2023. The Tables Turned Edition. And we begin with that story from Politico, which reports that the investigation into Cattergate and EU officers has been put on suspension as defense lawyers applied to the court uh, in the EU to stop the investigation and investigate the prosecutors. A um, fairly significant turn of events. It's um, information brought forward by the defense lawyers, which basically said the civil se- secret services, rather, had infiltrated the uh, European Parliament and set up the individual members who have been charged. Um, Pretty stunning set of developments um, claiming that police and spy services acted illegally disregarding uh, the parliamentary immunity of those charged. So um, pretty stunning and could put a big kibosh on the Cattergate investigation. Next up from the Wall Street Journal, an exclusive about yet another CEO who is thrown out for uh, sexual harassment. Kiwi Kamara, a Harvard Law School prodigy turned tech entrepreneur, uh, resigned on uh, September 10th uh, after an alleged incident of September 6th uh, with a, a dinner with his staff where he allegedly groped an employee. The board immediately began an investigation and uh, Kamara forfeited an award of stock options, which had made him one of the highest paid CEOs in 2022. Uh, you really, it's really unbelievable. These CEOs can't seem to keep their hands themselves, but they can't. Um, next up in offshore Namibia, one of the world's largest discoveries of oil has been made with an ele- estimated 11 billion barrels of crude. Uh, This discovery was made by Total and Shell, and even if a small portion of the potential load, which is overall valued at $1 trillion, can be recovered, it could promote untold riches for a country of 2.7 million people. I would ask, what could go wrong? And our final story comes to us from France 24, which reports that the son of the ousted president of Gabon, and several others have been arrested for long-term and systemic corruption. No surprise there when you have regime change. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.